Hi everybody, Kent Martz here with Explore Scientific. Welcome to today's broadcast here on all our streaming platforms. Glad you can join us. Today we're going to be talking about some of our best-selling items, including some items that are on sale that are really, you know, driving and, you know, one of the items you can sell, save $800 on because they're on sale. We're going to get to it first. The Explore Scientific large display weather station with temperature and humidity. David Samar and Pekka both say hello, hello, gentlemen. Thank you for joining us. Uh, like the broadcast you already have, share it with your friends, share it on your streams. That lets more people in on these wonderful deals. This is the Explore Scientific large display weather station. As you can see right here, it comes with. Uh, nope. Yeah. Oh, there's a video running. I can't see the top display. So, got a video running right now. You can see it has uh, partly cloudy on the screen or mostly cloudy. It's partly cloudy here. Uh, it's 72.2 or 70.2 degrees in here. The uh, outdoor sensor must not have a battery because it's not working. Okay. It's it's uh, got a 12 or 24 hour uh, sales, uh, sales clock you can set for either military or regular 12 hour time, uh, switchable between Fahrenheit. You know, a good big temperature range has an ice alert, uh, right? Uh, it also is a, a weather forecast. Uh, I mean, a, a, it gets the time from a radio station WWVB here in the United States, which is from the National Institute of Standards and Time uh, that broadcasts out and all the radio clocks use that signal. Not uh, only would you want this for just your, uh, uh, you know, just for your own house and things like that, you'd also want this with astronomy. Sure, it helps you forecast the weather a little bit, know what's going on locally. It See bases what the that. Point is, it, things like that. It bases that on the humidity and the rising barometric pressure, and uh, can forecast the weather based on what the barometric barometric pressure trend is. It also comes with one indoor outdoor sensor. This is good for going outside. Uh, you put it on your in the shade on a deck where it always stays shady, so it gets a real air temperature, not a heated up sun temperature. You can buy two other two other sensors for a total of three sensors. You buy two other sensors for a total of three sensors. Uh, you can put it in your shop, in your garage, a kid's bedroom, wherever you want to do to monitor the temperature with a quick look at this great base station. Comes with uh, uh, two AA batteries. This is running off of two AA batteries and their batteries go in here. Let's pop this open and see. Uh, I'm not gonna try and pop it open. This one takes a little tool and I don't want to break my fingernail. Hang on. Nope, not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Uh, another yeah, battery goes in there. I like my fingernails unbroken. Thank you very much. I think most people do. Anyway, this is a really cool, really affordable uh, clock, weather forecast, indoor outdoor temperature. It's plug and play. You turn it on, there's nothing to set. You may have to set your time zone, but that would be it, right? Uh, so this is a fantastic little thing, but the next one we have is a step up. So here we go. This is the Explore Scientific radio controlled, which means it gets time, weather radio station. Weather and this thing right here is pretty snazzy. Let me get it fired up here. All right, so I got a little video. You got a video you. of it? Okay. So um, this one uh, has, I've got batteries in it. It says it's 66.6 .6 degrees in here. I have, uh, it's just been set in here. It's been back in the warehouse where it is rather cold and there you go you can see the setup on it it has a double alarm with snooze moon phase display barometer with weather forecast based on the current air pressure uh, six types of weather forecast icons indoor outdoor temperature uh, internal and external humidity in other words inside and outside humidity uh, supports three sensors you get one sensor right here with it has the lcd color display that you saw i can get that turned on here by a tap of the button I don't know if you can see that or not. It's, those the, lights the, are lights are, the lights are hosing it right now. There we go. So anyway, has a low battery indicator and it comes with an AC wall supply. I don't didn't pull out of the box. It comes with an AC wall supply so you can plug it into the wall and the batteries then become a power go off backup system so that you uh, continue to keep the time and everything, the weather uh, functioning while so the power's off. Yeah, Paul. The one on the video is one that I still have in my house. Yeah. Actually, let's see here. This is 
and I just sit there by my front door, and it's actually pretty cool. So it, it, uh, uh, last week it was pretty cold. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, we had seven or ten inches of right snow. Right so, uh, uh, okay. do you look at it every day before you go outside to decide what coat yeah. you're going to wear? Absolutely. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. So, uh, I'm getting to buy another item to put in my, uh, have a camper. I'm going to be on camping this weekend. It's supposed to be down to 19. I'm going to get one of these that's a clock weather display, not this fancy one. I might buy the fancy one and put it in the RV. I sort of like, I like the color display better. I sort of I like that idea. Yeah, the color display is really nice. I agree with that. You know, it's a, uh, Get it back on. Nice blues. It's, I think what's happening here is the lights are so bright it's causing it to, because when I turned it yeah. on, it was much brighter than this, and it's gone down. So, anyway, uh, you can set temperature alerts. It, it yeah, well. yeah. You can set temperature alerts on it so that if the temperature gets below a certain temperature or above a certain temperature, an alarm goes off notifying you. I look up right? upon, I apologize for messing up your name. I look upon and check. Chexta, Shalandra, good to see you. He lives in jolly old England. Nice to see Chucks on. So, hi to. so now, and shout out to that name. So now, Sorry. we're going to go, hard to, hard for me to say it, so I can't even see it in writing. So now I'm plopping down on the table here, the Explore Scientific Essential Series ED10207-02. This is... An Explore Scientific Essential Series Telescope. That means that the glass in here, and it has an extendable dew shield, right? The glass in here in the front is a triplet telescope, right? So it's got three pieces of glass in it that has air separation. It's got a crown and a flint and a special piece of glass that makes the chromatic aberration of the light refracting through glass get all back in line and play together and be white light when it gets down here to the end of the telescope. So this is, if you buy this now, You'll save $300 through the end of February. If you've been eyeballing a telescope, this is your chance to get a price that we'll probably never see again, uh, a $300 savings. It's under $1,000. So uh, it comes with this nice carrying bag, got our standard Explore Scientific logo on it. It also comes with a two inch diagonal that has a adapter for one and a quarter inch or two pinch two two inch eyepieces, inch and a quarter would go there. Two inches go there. Uh, this is 99% uh, dielectric coated. Uh, really a nice piece of uh, device. What it does is it goes in the back of the telescope and makes the light come up out of the telescope, so you don't have to get down and look through the telescope like a spy scope. It also comes with these two little rings. Some people don't know what to do. These are called extension tubes. They go on the back of the focuser because if the focuser was long as it needs to be to come to focus, it would be a much longer box. And so we go to extension tubes, right? One for visual, generally two for astrophotography. Has a two inch rack and pinion focuser, uh, smooth as butter right out of the box. I took this out of the box. It has not been through quality control yet. Right out of the box. That focuser is as smooth as butter. No clunk clunk, no junk junk, no wobbly, no wobbly, no snap back. Snap back is when you turn it, and I'll turn this around so you can see this. There is a 10 to one focuser right here. So you can turn this small knob, and for every 10 turns of the small knob, the big knob turns once. Snap back is when you turn it and let go and then it snaps back a little bit because of forward tension or back tension going either way. There's no snap back at all. It just goes just smooth as can be all the way out through the focuser. There's a little rust spot. That's why we go through quality control to make sure that these ship without a rust spot anywhere. There is a tight spot right here, which means the telescope is slightly out of collimation. Uh, you can adjust that with these screws right here and a couple other screws. And uh, I'll probably need to do a show on that sometime. Uh, just to show that. This is the Explore Scientific ED-102-0702. Ah, here's something else to talk about. I'm going to spin it around this way. You can see, you see it, maybe. Right here is what makes this the new serial number. This is the Explore Scientific Hybrid 2-in-1 Finder Base. So, right here, this little device right here, you can put in the Explore Scientific and other companies uh, T-foot. Back it up just a little bit. Back it up just a little bit. Keep going. Keep going. 
and there's your focus. There's focus right there, okay. So these screws right here can unscrew and you can run in there trying to get it hard to see because of the monitor. So you can put, and I didn't grab one, I should have grabbed a finder scope. I will do it for the next broadcast. And you can put a Explore Scientific finder scope in there. Or if you happen to have the Cinta um, hmm, Orion Celestron, it fits dovetail, mini dovetail. It fits right here, right? So this will take if you already have a finder scope you don't have to buy another one and we we could have left our finder base on there and forced you to buy one of our telescopes but we thought it was the right thing to do to have a two-in-one to really maximize your potential right and really cool right here is a little screw and right there's a little screw those little screws are designed so if something happens and these screws get loose your finder scope does not slide out the back and land on the ground. That's important because if you've ever had it happen before, it's very scary. So this is the Explore Scientific ED-102 Essential Series, which means it has genuine Hoya FCD-1 glass with proprietary uh, EMD coatings, and it is made with ED, low ED glass, meaning uh, dispersion, and so it really presents a beautiful image. Now, this is a big old boy right here. This telescope is the Explore Scientific FCD100 127 millimeter telescope. This telescope is on sale through February for $800 off. I'm gonna predict again, you will likely never see this telescope this low priced again. This is a deal of a lifetime. If you've been looking for a 127 millimeter telescope in FCD 100 glass, this is it. So like the other telescope, it comes with a cradle, comes with a diagonal, comes with the uh, extension tubes uh, on this 2.5 inch uh, hex focuser, a different focuser, larger, more robust than the two inch focuser. It also comes with the two in one hybrid finder base. This is a beautiful telescope. Uh, the optics uh, are great optics. The glass is pristine and clear. The difference between FC1 and FCD100 is the FC100 allows more ultraviolet, far, far red and ultraviolet light to pass through the glass. That's not important for visual, but if you're doing astrophotography, that's huge because that, that red infrared uh, that your eye can't see is what makes all the pictures you see just spectacular is that infrared light and that far red light that's hard for your eye to see. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, fantastic telescope. This is a big telescope, it needs to go on a big mount. You can't put this telescope uh, on a mount rated for eight or 10 or 12 pounds. Uh, this fits perfectly, this fits perfectly on the uh, Exos 2 GT with PMC8 has a 28 pound load carrying capacity. That's the telescope I use. I use this telescope. I also use the, the carbon fiber. When I go to, to Scott star parties, let me show you the front of the glass here real quick. Pop off the, this has not been opened. It hasn't been through quality control. Let's just see. You don't want dew shields to come off easy, right? Or not dew shields, but, uh, dust caps there it comes okay now now it's challenging me do you need somebody to help you uh that's part of it i'm afraid i think i think i can get it i'm just afraid to pull on it real hard for knocking it off Noah, do you think you could uh, he can't he's on a conference call right now he just needs somebody to hold the telescope while oh, he yeah. takes the cap off There, I, I got it right as you walked up, but yeah, hold. Yeah, it gives me more confidence. Somebody, somebody's holding on to it. Hey, look at the screen and say, hi, Noah. Hi, hi Noah. Noah. There we go right there. Thank you, Noah. There we go. You saw Noah's hand. So get that up here. Look at that glass. Look at that beautiful glass. That big white thing down in there is the uh, closed cap on the focuser. Look. Yeah. At that. You can see the don't look at the sun sign. Yeah, and the don't look at the sun sign on the dust cap. There's another one on the focuser. When you're looking through a telescope, 
don't look at the sun because it'll ruin your vision, it'll burn your cornea, burn your retina, permanently mar your eye, could blind you permanently. Um, very dangerous. There's ways to do it. Explore Scientific sells, sells solar safe film. That is great uh, for using uh, a telescope to look at the sun, but you need to study the process and understand what you're doing when you do it. So now we're gonna look at the 52 degree IP set. These are the two of the boxes that come in. There's two different versions. Doesn't mean anything about what's inside. It's just two different manufacturing runs. And we have the Explore Scientific 52 degree 40 millimeter. I'm not sure what I grabbed. The 20 millimeter, the 4.5 millimeter, and the 10 millimeter. All these Explore Scientific eyepieces, 52 degree eyepieces, and many other of our series are on sale. Now, the price, you're gonna save a minimum of $50 and as much as $60 on one of the eyepieces, the 5230, you'll save 60. The others are $50 savings. For some, that's close to half price. You can't beat the sale we have going on right now through February, it's the Galileo celebration sale fantastic deals yeah, so the uh, as you can see the 40 millimeter is a two inch diameter eyepiece and the uh this is the 10 20 the 20 is a two and a half two and a half one and a half millimeter eyepiece beautiful these are waterproof uh they're argon purged you can clean them very simply uh, not have to worry about getting water inside of them. We have a cleaning video where these get dunked into a tub of water to wash them off. It's distilled water with a little bit of soap. And these are fantastic things. So also, one more thing about these eyepieces I wanna show you. This is the soft-sided eyepiece case. I've not opened it up and pre-programmed it. It has inside of it velcro -y compartments where you can stick a variety of eyepieces. You can get three 100 degree eyepieces in here or um, uh, four or five of these smaller ones. As you can see, let me tip it up right there. This is a great kit if you go buy some eyepieces. So I've got to go. We've got to get on to other stuff. I'm Kent from Explore Scientific. Thanks for joining us. Tell your friends about us. Uh, save yourself some money out there. Buy stuff from Explore Scientific. Have a great Bye, day. Steph. I'm Kent. Thanks. Bye.